كطلاب بالنسبة لي هذا الكوشن اللي هو كوشن نمبر 8 اوكي بسك بي شابتر 2 سكشن 3 سيز درو ذا جراف اوف ذا فولوينج فانكشن يوزنج يور جي دي سي جرافكس كالكوليتر ناو ذيس تايبس اوف كوشنز وير يو هاف اكس كيوبد اند اون لايك اكس تو باور 4 اكس باور يو غاتا يوز يور يور كالكوليتر تو درو ات But we have to talk about some things. For example, the sine of x cubed, because it has the highest power, it determines the graph of the function. Now, because it's positive, it comes up like this, and goes down like this, and goes up like this. This is the x-axis. Let me just draw colors. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. Let's suppose like this. So. This graph intersects the x-axis in three different points. Why? Because it is x cubed. Is it always the case like this? No, because the graph of x cubed by itself it looks like this. If I change the color, look, it goes like this, and goes like this. Okay, but this is not our uh, what we're going to do today. The graph of x cubed. It should go up like this, but if it was negative, it should go like this. Take a look. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. So if it was negative, it comes down like this, and then goes up like this, and goes down like this. You have to memorize this, students. Okay, that's for part A, and you can check your answer in the mark scheme. If you take a look at the mark scheme, there we go. The mark scheme. Look. more scheme take it down so it comes down from down up and down then up like this okay now for the second part x to the power of four now this is similar in a way to the parabola so this is the supposed x axis we draw the x axis this is the x axis and this is the y axis now because it is x to the power of four And it is positive, so it open upwards, but doesn't do like the the quadratic. It goes like this, and like this, and like this. So it cuts the x axis at four different points, and the reason why because it is x to the power of four. So remember the students when you have x to the power of three, most of the graphs intersect the x axis at three different points. If it was x to the power of four, most of the graphs intersect the x axis at four different points. If it was x to the power of five, it intersects the graph at five different points. x to the power of six intersects the most of the time. It's not always the case, right? Now for the last part, which is minus, let me clear the screen. Now, because it's minus, it's the same as the parabola that opens downward. So it can go like this, like this, something like this, and something like this. Then it goes down. So if I want to extend this a little bit, so as you can see, so it cuts the x-axis at four different points and it opens downwards. Take a look at the mark scheme, students. Look, that's the mark scheme. See, so that's the our last graph. So it intersects the x-axis at four different points so you should have an idea of how the graph is going to be before you graph it so you get your answer correctly okay let me know to love if you have any questions regarding this particular question by clicking on this help me with this question this one will will uh, ask you to go at the end of the page here where you can post your question number and your comments okay thank you for watching and going to the next question